Hey, my hoes. I don't know why it took me a second to say that, but it's time for a Sunday premiere. I love Sunday premieres. I don't know about y'all, but I love doing them. So we're going to talk about now. I'm 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 working on, you know, coming with stuff for the peoples and you know things they want to see. So we're doing the gourmands. My gourmands for I guess you would say fall. So if, so yes, that's right. I'm doing gourmands now. Have to be honest. Doing this, I found out that I don't have as many gourmands as I thought I did, which now has put this in my head. Is are, do you work like this? Like you see a hole, and then now you're like, oh my god, I've got to fill the hole. So that is where this is why sometimes I don't like doing stuff like this because if I feel like damn you really don't have that much or you need a little more then I get stuck in that spot so I'm gonna show what I have and that and I'm gonna try not to become that person but you know I got other things to do so I'm gonna try I'm gonna be better I'm gonna be better all right so if y'all would like to see my gourmands don't go nowhere <laughs> Okay, hoes. Okay, hoes. So, what you won't see in this is vanilla. I tried to not get anything vanilla dominant because I'm going to do vanillas separately because quite honestly, I have gone, I didn't notice how many vanillas I have and I got a lot of vanillas and a lot of variation in them. So, I'm going to do something strictly vanilla-ish for that. So, that's where I'm going to go. Now, what, what I found looking at things is that I have fruity kind of vibes but mine aren't necessarily gourmand you know what i'm saying i don't have necessarily that oh you smell like somebody could take you know like just dessert like i have plums the, most... the fuck was that what just happened okay i have plums but a lot of my plums and leathers you know i'll have honeys but they're more florally honeys you know so I it's like I'm noticing how I pull and things like that I'm more an amber floral I'm more of a amber you know with some fruit I'm more of a um floral I love florals and maybe a few, few floral fruities and I really don't have a lot of that but I tend towards spiciness I tend toward things that are spicy I love flor. I love like like my roses I got sweet rose but it's sweet rose it's not this so let's go into it and i just pulled things that i felt like would be a little bit easier to get a hold of not necessarily um just like perfect but things that i felt like okay you could get your hands on this so that's how i went so the first thing we're gonna start off with let's go with apple because i don't have a lot of apple up in here I'm going to go with apple. My two apples, and no, I'm not pulling out Casablanca because quite frankly, Casablanca is an eh by comparison to these. So this is Nobel 1942, which is La Danza. Everybody knows about this. This is like a lemony apple pie. This has more lemon nuances to it in it. And so it's just like this lemony apple pie and it is delicious. I want the the extract or whatever they call it from Nobio 1942. But yeah, just, oh, if you love a good apple, but you don't want, but see, I like apple, but I like it to be cooked apple. I like apple pie-ish kind of vibes. You know, I want that apple pie. I want to smell like, you know, I'm a dessert. I don't want to smell like you could just bite into me. Okay, that's not true. Okay. Okay, shut up, Louise. All right. So then we have Rosé All Day. Now, this is a classic by Gallagher. Now, you know it's old because I got the old packaging. You can't even get this packaging anymore. And I don't even think they do 100 mils anymore. But this is apple crisp. It is plum. It is dark roll. Ooh. This is, this is, this reminds me of like, this definitely gives off like apple crisp. It gives off, you know, like you just 
put dip in your just dipping into some dessert and you you yeah. Well, I hate when my bra tries to show. Stop trying to peek out. Okay. So anyway, yes, this is rose all day. And if you have not tried it, this is like a classic. This is very well known. Now it has a stainless steel note that some people find off-putting. I do not. But it's this is rose all day. All right. Now let's go. I don't know. I'm just gonna start pulling because I'm try. I, I would try to, you know, put them like indefinite, you know, sense type of things. But I'm not the best at that. But let's just go ahead and try. Okay. Let's go with some honeys. Let's go with a little honey. Let's go with, of course. B by Ellis Brooklyn. Now I don't have the one that's by Zoologist, but this is B. This is a syrupy, sweet, rich honey. It has this rice bran note in it, so it gives it this little kind of almost like a, it has a bran note, so it kind of has a, a cereal kind of vibe to it, but in a good way, you know, like that hot, warmed cereal that mm, just taste it. Taste it, taste it, taste it. Mm. So yeah, I love B for this for the winter time. All right, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm just gonna start going through because I can't be trying to figure this shit out for y'all. I'm I'm gonna do some and then some just ain't gonna happen. All right, so let's hit plum. Plum, I'm gonna start here because this is like one of my first plums, right? This is Feminite Dubois. Now this is a lightweight. It's like I always call this my Thanksgiving fragrance. I might do something for Thanksgiving. I'm not doing Halloween because I don't think of that shit. Like, oh, Halloween fragrances. But I do think of like the holidays, you know, like holidays. One of the things is I like to sometimes smell like dessert. So this is plum and spices and it smells like a, it gives off to me this like, um, like a plummy, how do I want to say it? It smells like a fruit, like a spicy fruit dessert. Not necessarily plum in particular, but it comes off like this plummy, like, like if you were doing like a bread puddingy kind of vibe, because it's got the it's got the cinnamon, it's got cloves. <clears throat> Very, I, I just love it for the Thanksgiving. Like honestly, a lot of times this is what I want on Thanksgiving. For real, for real. I do. Now <clears throat> I was going to say this, so let me just say this once, and maybe I'll say it again a couple of times. So, like I always say, you need to try things. Don't be me, necessarily. Some of us love to blind buy. Here's what I want to tell y'all. Remember, I'm coming from my perspective. And, and we're all coming from our own perspectives and how we feel about these per, these fragrances. I don't, I cannot stand when you all make this decision based on what I say, and then it doesn't work for you for whatever reason, and you want to blame me. Listen, we might have similar tastes, but not everything's going to be the same. It's not always going to play the same on our skin. Stop blaming people for this thing. Listen to them, but also be willing to say, I did it. I Take that motherfucking L, y'all. Take the L if it doesn't work out the way you thought it was. Stop getting mad at people. We didn't force you to buy. We're just telling you about things that we have found that you might not have heard about or might not be aware of. And then we're going to give you the perspective that we have about it. I will say, because so I get tired of saying, this isn't a blind buy. You shouldn't blind buy. You know what? Don't blind buy if you ain't ready for the the L's the that you might take, right? Blind buying is not for the weak. Blind buying is about just taking a chance on something and saying, you know what? I like the notes. And if you listen to people, unlike me, who I don't listen to hardly anybody, and you listen to some people and you like the way they vibe and say, okay, let me try it. But willing to say that. And if that's the case, listen, get you a Mercari, get into Facebook groups, whatever you need to do to sell them off if you don't like them. That's my advice to you. If you like to buy, if you're willing to buy and buy, either you give them away to people or... You get into Facebook groups and you get rid of them. It's just that simple. You can get them or carry anything, but my suggestion is just go and do it on Facebook or whatever. Because trust me, people will buy. Okay, so that's my PSA 
for today. So anyway, Feminine Dubois. So yeah, that's because, you know, I get tired of people like, oh, it's okay if you don't like it after you try it. Like, even though I used to feel this way sometimes, like, oh, they don't. That's why sometimes I don't want, you don't want to tell everybody about everything because then they put this blame on you because they listen to you. Remember, we are all individuals and maybe you individually, it just didn't work for you and it's okay. But other times you might love it. But once again, if you can get a sample of it, go for the sample. Um, I will be doing, I will no longer be selling decants. So unfortunately that will not be a source for you, for me. However, Lucky Scent, you know, um, Crystal Fragrances, a lot of them sell, Perfumology sell samples, but I will be so, doing something a little more personalized. So don't you worry, I got y'all, but we will discuss that at a def different day. Okay. That was my rant for the day. <laughs> All right. All right, so that was that. Um, so now let's talk about uh, a few cherries I have. Yeah, let's talk about a few cherries I have. So cherry is the note of the cherry is the note. Everybody, cherry, cherry, cherry. Everybody using all, getting all these new cherries. There's some that I still have not gotten to because, quite frankly, some of them are expensive as fuck, and I'm not spending the money right now. I am really working on slowing down on my purchases monthly not that i don't i'm still not gonna purchase i just don't want to i have to like slow down how much i'm spending you know because there's other things i need to get done my money is not does not last forever i have to be you know more intentional with my spending it ain't always happening y'all but I can try, I can put the good try out, right? And then just focus. So we'll see what happens, okay? We really will. I just can't tell the truth that it will always go well. Okay, I had to grab a couple things before I came back. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, so let's talk cherry. So first of cherry I want to talk about is Okay, so this is Candle by Night. This is Cherry and Honey. And I have to be honest, in the beginning, it was more honey to me. But as I've started wearing it and spraying it more, it, the cherry is really complimentary. Smells lovely. Love it, love it, love it. So this is like Cherry and Honey and Orange Blossom. It's just a really rich, deep, sexy vibe. Everybody, If you know, the Scandals are sexy. Um, and this is that... This is that bad, this is that deep, dark, rich, hey, we going out, let's kick it, let's do the damn thing vibe. So that is uh, Scandal. I'm sorry, I was thinking about adding something in and I've decided not to. I think I'm going to put it in a different video. That's the way we do things. If you don't do videos, creators tell the truth and you be in the middle and go, oh, damn, I should do this. And then you go, no, nah, maybe I shouldn't. Okay, so there's that. Then I'm going to show, this is, and I have a few more. I actually did a cherry video last year. Um, I guess I'll try to put it in the cards, in the description, whatever. But this is uh, Rihanna's cherry on top. This is a caramel cherry. That's exactly what it is. You get a lot of caramel, you get cherry. It is a very rich, decadent vibe on the skin. So that is that. Then, of course, now I don't have the newest one, but this is Invite Only Amber 123. This, of course, has that cherry. The cherry doesn't last as long as I would like, but I really think this is a smoky, sexy, beautiful fragrance. I have still not done gotten the Cherry Fest whatever. I will try to try it out soon. But yeah, this is Kayali Invite Only Amber 23. It is a beautiful, sexy cherry incense amber now the cherry like i said doesn't last there's ways to make cherry to do the cherry thing but yeah that's invite only now this is my newest one and it took me a minute to like it but this is majestic jardine by alexander j like i said i've talked about it a couple of times it has like this really serious peppery note in it i think i got pink pepper in it no they have black pepper so the pepper in the beginning is just oh it takes over the top 
However, give it 10 minutes and that pepper starts, um, you know, dissipating. It starts, it starts, you know, um, whatever I want to say. But anyway, it goes away. And then you're left with this delicate cherry almond fragrance. It is, this is not for, this is one of those things that if you don't give it a good try, you're not going to like it because you're looking at the notes and it's like cherry, cherry blossom, almond, and you're looking for that Tom Ford Lost Cherry vibe. And it is not that, you know, because everybody's like, it's got cherry and almonds, Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Oh my God. Oh my God. So it is not, it, it's a delicate because the cherry blossom is very prevalent. So it becomes this delicate cherry, cherry blossom with that um, powdery almond in it. So this is def this is a definite specific type of cherry. So that is cher Majestic Jardine. <clears throat> oh, then let's talk plum. I love a good plum. So let's talk about some plums we got over here. Um, I didn't pull out a lot of plums, but I got them. This is tobacco, tobacco and tonka bean by, um, what is my other bottle of this? I got another bottle. Oh, I got to check and see. Did I not, did I, did I, I got to check my boxes, y'all. Cause I have a box of this, a new one. And I got to make sure that I didn't, I, I'm not about to throw it out. Okay, let me check my stores. Okay, anyway. Whew, this is tobacco and taco bean. Y'all know I've been talking about this for years, y'all. Now I've wait a minute. Hold on. See, I was gonna let me do this whole cherry thing, go through and then I'd say the cow at night. I don't know how I was gonna go talk about cherry and not do this one. <laughs> This is Caltech Night. Now, there's some apple in it and everything, but this is a cherry dessert. It's that warm cherry, like cherry pie, cherry. It's got the cinnamon. It's got vanilla. It is so tasty. I know everybody be like, it's got this. What I get is the cherry. The cherry is like baked up and good and sexy. And that is Cow's at Night. Now, honorable mention, I'm not going to pull it out because I just don't feel like doing it right now. But of course, Mansair's Wild Cherry is an excellent cherry for the season. Excellent cherry for the season because it has that, if you're looking for a bright cherry, especially to like layer with things, you know I live for um, uh, Mansair's Wild Cherry. Sorry, needs a hydrate. All right. So now let's get into plum. Correct. Okay. So we talked about Feminine Dubois. We talked about, let me go back into the tobacco and tonka bean. This is, mm, this has got plum. It's got coconut in it. It's got the, the smokiness of the tobacco. This, I, I'm, I'm freaking out because I know I have another bottle of this, but I don't know where it's at. So I got to go through everything and make sure I didn't honest, accidentally almost put the bottle. Because this is the one that's almost done and I have a full bottle, so, but I don't know where it's at. So now I got to go, go through all these bags of, I have to go through all of the bags of, of the fragrances that I opened, but I thought I opened them all. So let me look around. Y'all just all up in my head. I'm sorry. This is, made, this is freaking me out because y'all know I love tobacco on Tonka Bean. But it's plummy. It's coconut. It's tobacco. It's got this um, smokiness. And it's got that sweetness. Like, you know, that got that Tonka Beanish vibe. So, yeah. Tobacco on Tonka Bean. Whew, child. Now, I do have other plums. But like I said, they're more plum leather. They're a little more. They're like tougher, richer plums. Um, some are a little more floral things like that but then we have midnight jasmine by pearlescent perfumes let me show y'all that again this is the sister company to gallagher so this is rose all day but more plum so this is not like the apple in that one this god goodness gracious this is sexy this is one of the sexiest most delicious plums it has that like 
cinnamon it's got that vibe like rose all day but then but this is more plum forward a little more jasmine it's got a little jasmine underline but really it's the plum y'all it's the plum okay who i got all excited y'all didn't i now this one right here y'all i got all smelling some stuff because <laughs> i was like <gasps> and oh Okay, I'm going to just keep going. All right. <clears throat> so, let's hit up. Let's go. Where was we at? Where was we at? I don't know. Okay, so I did. I did. I did. I did this. I did plums. I talked about some of my plums, which we already talked about. Okay, so let's hit this caramel right here. I'm going to talk about a couple of caramely things I have. This is Golden Oud by um, Amaru. This is a caramel oud. And the oud is so well blended. It won't be like, oh my God, it's woody and everything no the wood is so beautiful the oud is so beautiful but it's like there's no rose in it which i love and it's a caramel oud it is delicious delicious that is caramel that is golden oud by amarud delicious i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all all right then let's hit these uh okay we're gonna leave those to last let's hit coffee I'm really all over the place right now. So we're going to talk about Rawa by um, Al Har Um, I found this on Joma Shop. I haven't seen it lately. I don't know what's going on. But if you could get your hands on it and you like a little coffee. This is, they say this is similar to Black Opium. I don't know. I have Black Opium samples right here. I don't know. But anyway, it is a more, it has a little floral to it. So it has coffee and almond and it's a little floral. But as it dries, you get this subtle, gorgeous coffee, right? So that is Rawa. I have some other stuff and I'm going to show them to you all in a different video of things that I have that aren't possibly readily available, but are still fabulous in case you get them. I'll call it the snatch it list. Okay. Then I have this um, from, uh, let me get it right. These are from Happy Land uh, Studios, right? This is Home for the Holidays. This hat is a coffee one. And this smells like, oh my goodness, this is like a deep, rich coffee. Um, it has, um, it's like a coffee drink. Let me give you all some of what it says in it. It's got pumpkin spice and musk oh it is so good it is just like if you and it and, and the musk makes it gives it this kind of almost masculine but not really this is perfectly unisex even though happy land shows it as a male fragrance it is not it anybody could wear this it is just it's autumn they said it's autumn in a bottle and it, it really is and then they have this one oh this is home for the holidays the decaf edition so they took out the um the coffee for this but then y'all mm -mm, y'all y'all this is so good now this is definitely gourmand it's just got caramel it's got maple syrup i don't normally like stuff this rich but then it's got cinnamon in it it is so top Home for the holidays decaf either one of them you can get and here's a good deal thing about happy land studios is that their samples are five mils and i think they're like nine dollars a piece they're really a good price so if you want to try the brand and i actually have a whole video that of me trying a bunch of them put it in the cards or in the description um they're really good really delicious really something that you might want to try okay so that's happy land studios then we're gonna go with these these are um reminisce now some of you all know about reminisce some of you all don't know so let's talk about them reminisce is a french brand very inexpensive you know you can get these at a really good price i'll try to put the uh, pictures up this is drage this is um this whole little line first off i love the bottles i am gonna get them <laughs> and some of my okay we'll talk about that later okay so drage it's a just a 
delicious kind of candied up almondy vibe because it's drage that is what a drage is it is like a candied almond vibe so that's what you're getting is a candied almond vibe and it is delicious y'all it is delicious i'm trying to look up something for y'all right quick okay so yeah drage i put the picture of it but it's it's vanilla it's got cardamom so it's a little spicy um so it's kind of you like a candied almond um, with a little floral, so beautiful fragrance. Um, heliotrope, which is what it is. Heliotrope, of course, is powdery. So this is a powdery, sweet vibe, which I, um, and I, I'm going to start wearing these up again. I said I'm going to wear, because I'm trying to like wear things and really just give them a good try with my, um, with my, uh, what is these called? Travel sprays? Yes. So this is, a, it's a powdery vanilla almond. It is, it's very, you know what I would say? This is very ladylike. This is a very ladylike, very, because it's not too much. You know how, you know, a lot of these gourmands, they, they're very strong. This is more delicate. It has a delicate nature to them. So that's um, heliotrope. And then Grimov. This is the Guimauve. Okay, so let's get into Guimauve. Guimauve is just, these are all kind of vanilla, but this one is, has a little more um, citrusy, kind of aromatic. I should have put these all in with my vanillas, but I didn't, so they're here now, so whatever. Um, because I got so many vanillas coming for y'all. I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming hard with the vanillas. I'm coming hard with the vanillas. Anyway, whoa, so deliciously gorgeous. Mm. But it's like a spicier, it's like a citrusy, little spicy vanilla. Gorgeous. Now, I will say, Guimau does not last because I sprayed the hell out of myself with this. I mean, for real, I sprayed. It doesn't last as long as I would like. Um, Heliotrope lasts a little longer and Drage definitely lasts longer. Um, they don't necessarily push out. Like uh, Heliotrope is more closer to you. Drage has a little more out there into the world. Okay, now let's talk about this one. This is Magnificat by Mirabelle. Whew, she's looking bad. Okay, by Mirabelle. Get all this stuff off of her. Okay, so anyway, this is what I always say. This is like Mirabelle is by this is by what did I say by Mirabelle by Quinta Canto. Duh. Um, so Mirabelle, I have both Mirabelle and Magnificat. Mirabelle is more the drink, the vanilla drink, whatever. This is the, the dessert, but this is a more um, European pastry dessert. And the reason why I say that is because it's not like, like an American dessert, which is a more over the top. This has a more, this is a more elegant dessert. This is like a pastry, but it, this would be a flavored pastry, like spicy with a little vanilla and everything, not like fruit or just over the top. This would be like one of those delicate, like like a French, like in a French or Italian pastry, which it has a little more delicate nature to it, which I like because it's not super sweet. I don't like super sweet desserts. And so that's what Magnificat reminds me of, like like one that has just enough sweetness, but has like this vanillas and spices that really are what you're tasting. So that's Magnificat. All right. Now... Let's just talk about being, um, this one is another one that I love for some winter time and for, you know, how do I want to say it for holidays? This is five o'clock. Oh, Jean Jean Bray. This is a ginger tea vibe by Sir Zutan. So this is ginger tea and it's got that ginger. It's got a strong ginger vibe and it is just, um, and the tea is perfect. So this is one of those things like if you don't want to, um, you're not trying to be overwhelming, but you still want to be this um, little delight walking through the crowd. You know what I'm saying? If you're like in, like if you were at a gathering, like at a home, we're not going to talk about going to like a huge party, 
feel like at a home and you want it to be smell cozy just like friends you know holiday time friends get together we have a cookie exchange or something this would be a perfect vibe for that all right then we have speaking of cozy this is lavanda's tree and I. this is milk this is lactonic it's a milky lavender and i am not a lavender girl but this is one of my this is my favorite lavender. It's just like a lavender milk vibe. Like if you had, like if you took lavender and heated it up with milk, put a little sugar in it and a little vanilla, this is what it would be. This could be a drink. This is a vanilla milk drink and it is cozy and it is gorgeous on the skin and you smell like, you know, you just smell like somebody should be cuddling with you. Lavanda Strina. Let's just, I'm just going to throw this one out. And I, either one, because I have them both. Uh, Kamra, which is, <laughs> this is the it girl of us. This this the it girl of Fradcom, male or female. This is it. So if you, Angel Share, Kamra, we know they, they vibe is very similar. The top of one plan. Oh, cut it off. This is... <laughs> This is boozy, pie, spicy, awesomeness. Yes. Um, I honestly was late to the party with Angel Share because I am that person. But I, and plus, I got a really good deal on it. And so this, y'all, just just get either one. You'll be, you, you will smell good. Now, um, this is Montal's Sweet Oriental Dream. This is powdery, almondy. If you love almond and you want that classic powdery almond, you need to get Sweet Oriental Dream. This is powdery, almondy, vanilla. This is classic. This is just like, when I'm in the mood to smell like that, that's what, I, this is what. And then throw some Almond Blossom by Bath & Body Works. Baby, baby, you are almond chick. Okay. Then I'm going to pull this one, which is Amouage Sunshine Woman. <sighs> the crowd should be roaring. Now, always don't be sitting up here, you know, because this is beautiful. This is a Osmanthus apricotty, and it's got this like very suede. I think it's got suede of leather. Mm, I'm, this is delicious delicious now what i'm about to do is i'm about to put these two together because this is absolute de asmoth by perry paris monte carlo this is just really truly this is this is this is serving that apricot vibe if you like it it's got a little powderiness to it this is this is just delightfully beautiful i had to check i have so much left honey i'm going to douse myself in sunshine today and maybe put this on with it and i am going to kill my household because i'm about to wear this y'all but anyway this is sunshine woman and, and absolute asman these are beautiful beautiful um apricot so if you want the this is like apricot pastry you just smell like you just, you know, I love certain like this is like I said, this, this is more like a very high end pastry where it's not too sweet, where it's not just like tooth achingly. It, it has the it's like a pastry. It's like a pastry chef made this. And then they then they did something and threw on a little smokiness to it. Yes, this is Sunshine Woman. And like I said, this is powdery. Absolute Asman. This is beautiful, beautiful. I'm telling y'all, people don't be talking about Paris Monte Carlo enough. <laughs> she good, she good. All right, now I'm going to talk about one of my favorite brands. I talk about him all the time. This is Vincent. This is Dreamhouse Securio, and he does some of the most delicious gourmandy yet very, um, how do I want to say it? Just unique and dark and gothic and beautiful fragrances. Y'all know how I feel about Dreamhouse of Curio. All right. So I I was trying not to pull out too many, but I did. I ain't gonna lie. I pulled out five. Uh, so here, I'm gonna go quick because I'm looking at the time. Oh my God, I've been talking and talking and talking. Okay, so this is this is Anwin. This is white chocolate and passion fruit. 
<clears throat> so delicious. This is this is my perfect white chocolate. It's white chocolate. It's got that white chocolate nuances, but it's got this. This got this. this oh, it's just gorgeous. It's just delicious. All right, so that is on one. Then we have this one. I talk about all the time. This is cognac. Oh. Chocolate cognac with the alignment on it. it. That's what it is. You get this boozy, chocolatey cognac, dark chocolate with the alignment And as it dries down, the alignment becomes more prevalent, but you still get this nuance of chocolate. Delicious. Edolin. Cherry. Boozy cherry. I forgot. Mm. Oh, my goodness. This smells so good. This cherry is killing Side note, I forgot to mention, but I have a decant of it. Back to Black by Killian is one of the best cherries out there. People don't give it enough love anymore. You know, we going on to these other ones, but Back to Black by Killian is awesome. Okay, and now I'm going to talk about <laughs> one, two, three. These are my last two um, talking about Dream, Dream House of Curio, and these are my newer ones. This is Candyman. Oh, uh, this is a, this is what I say is like, it's a sweet candied, but more mature. It's an elegant uh, candied fragrance. Whereas some can be a little too much like product candy and everything. Oh, this is like mango. It's got fruit in it. It's sweet. It's, it's decadent, but in a very sophisticated, elegant way. So that is, um, candy man this is sugaring sugaring is a boozy peach cobbler that's what i'm telling you boozy peach cobbler oh my goodness she's so delicious she's so delicious yes but it's a boozy peach cobbler and i've all and i have tendency to not do well with peach but this peach right here is killing killing Oh my goodness, I almost forgot this one. Let me double back. Let's talk about Fan Your Flames. I'm really trying to love this one, but this is a boozy, coconutty, smoky vibe. I'm trying to love it. I'm going to see how I can make it work, but it is what it is. <laughs> but it is a gore. It's slightly, it's kind of gourmandish and everything. Now, the elephant in the room. Why have I not pulled out any of my ganaches? Because I have some ganaches that are some of the best gourmands ever. But I didn't want to pull them out because I don't know the status of ganache. Right now, you know, JC is no longer involved. So, so many of them that I love that I could talk about are hard to come by or might not be available. So, I don't want to inundate y'all with some stuff like talking about smolder and and um stung and things like that that i love and i'm gonna wear but you are not going to be able to get get your hands on too too readily and so that is why you do not see ganache in the gourmands even though jc we know makes some of the best literal gourmands out there and his newer ones that are the more gourmand perfumery gourmands are stunning too i just don't want to put them out there and then you'd be mad at me and be like well where the fuck do i get any of these so that is why you have not seen ganache in this video all right hoes thank y'all for hanging out with me this is a long ass video i didn't even think it was gonna be this long but i talked too much maybe i should have edited it but we know i'm really not a huge editor and i feel like sometimes y'all just should hear what's going on in my head and then i had a whole psa and everything so anyway I'm out of here. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.